I thought the first five minutes of the game, we were not good offensively. We were standing, we were not screening, um, and that's that's how we played against Duluth when we didn't score it very well. So I, I was really happy to see us adjust and trust our offensive system and get back to our movement, our screens, and beating people with our movement off the ball, really. So uh, it was great to see us adjust after the first few minutes. And then you're right, I thought we did go on some good runs offensively. We got rid of threes. Uh, we got some looks at the rim. We were scoring in transition. So offensively, um, it, it was great to see contributions really from everybody uh, in various ways. Uh, defensively, I thought our urgency was good. Uh, we wanted to limit them in the paint, which we did. Uh, we uh, were out, able to outscore them in the paint 48-18, uh, which is um, phenomenal. And I'm so proud of our team because that's not easy against a team that's 6'2", 6'3", 6' foot across the board, uh, but our movement was good. <clears throat> and defensively, we did a great job just collapsing and forcing the ball um, out on the perimeter. Luckily, that they didn't shoot it well. Um, I thought they got some pretty open looks, so our rotations could have been a little bit better at times, but was really proud they followed the game plan um, and we gave up what we wanted to. And I felt like you guys were able to push the pace pretty early too and force some turnovers. Was that a concerted effort for the team? Yes, that was a huge point of emphasis coming into the game, keeping the ball out of the paint, but picking up the tempo. Because of their length, we couldn't let them just slow it down and run their offense like they wanted to. We had to have ball pressure, denial, uh, making them uncomfortable offensively, but then also making them sprint the floor defensively, making them keep up with our, our speed and um, ability to shoot it uh, and just keep them spaced and moving. Yeah, it's got a slow start, as you mentioned, the first five minutes, but then Caitlin Meister ended up with 20 points at the end of the day. Uh, what did she do so well, in the, especially in the second half? Kate was really good for us, and she has been just very efficient uh, because she's always making the right reads. When we get her the ball, whether she's attacking from the perimeter and making a read um, for her counters to finish, or whether she's posting up and making moves, she really does a good job utilizing fakes and then just reading what the defense does. Uh, and then when she does that, she's just finishing at a really high percentage, so we definitely want to get the ball in her hands. Uh, but when teams double, which they do at times, she's really good at passing too. She gets the ball out, um, and then our shooters get those rhythm threes, or we're attacking closeouts from there. So Kate has been phenomenal. She also was guarding McKaylee Kuhn, so she stepped up huge for us offensively, finishing 20 points but she had her work cut out for her on the defensive end as well. That's maybe what I'm most proud of. Uh, she's guarding, I think, one of the best guards in the league and kept her in check. I mean, uh, Kuhn is a really good player. She made some tough shots, but Kate made her take tough shots. So was really happy with her performance on both ends of the floor. You're finally able to get the separation in the fourth quarter, a big three in the corner, I believe it was center. Sloan, yeah. yeah, so what was it the, that she did? Um, earlier in the game maybe and then later in the game. Sloan's been just solid for us since, since we got her back. She shoots it so well. She helps us space the floor. Uh, and I think that three was a huge momentum boost for us. We needed it. We had turned it over a couple times against that press. Uh, that disrupted us more than um, I thought it would or should. Uh, but once we did break it, if she's open for a three, I don't care what the score is. That's a good shot for us. That's kind of like a layup, I think. She's such a good shooter. Uh, so Sloan did a good job. She was also guarding those bigs inside and was pretty physical. So I thought she has been really good for us. And today, she was again, made big shots and, and defended hard. I felt like the second quarter was big for Daisy as well, making a couple plays on both ends of the floor. Yeah, Daisy's just a really smart player, uh, and she makes good reads as well. She had some good attacks to the rim. You're right in the second quarter where she finished quick up over the top, over, over some of those bigs, uh, and then everyone had to do their part defensively, so she had some good rotations defensively as well. A couple of uh, the biggest things from this game that you can take into the next one. I think transition offense and just our movement offensively uh, is something that we'll have to continue uh, to do well moving forward if we want to be successful. Uh, we've got Lake State at home here Thursday. Another team uh, will try to score in transition and, and keep them moving. Uh, but we'll also have to take the post presence away. They have two phenomenal post players and some guards that are good. Uh, so it'll be a, a similar game plan. Uh, you guys are on a bit of a win streak and ranked number 23 in the nation as well. Uh, does that put a target on your back in the league a little bit? 
it definitely puts a target on our back, but that's something we try to completely ignore. Our rankings don't matter. We'll get everybody's best game, but that's good. That's what we want. It makes us better. Uh, we just focus on one possession at a time. That's all we can control. We can't control rankings. We can't control the score at the end of the day. Uh, so with all that going on, try to ignore any of that outside noise that we can't control and just focus on what we do.